Hey guys, Mick here from Austrax 4x4 and it's been a while since I've done a video so I'm doing a little bit of an update now um, from my previous update which was the Road So Far video so if you haven't seen that one, head back you'll see what this used to look like before I've uh, done a few little more upgrades on this thing so um, yeah, let's check it out and I'll go over my suspension setup um, wheels and all that type of thing for you guys so you'll know that if you want to drop the, what i've done on your vehicle then you better check this out too so so we have now i don't know how well it's going to pick it up but i have got 285 75 16s on a 16 by zero offset wheel um on the old 90. so she's quite a bit taller uh, which is good so we got a better idea over here I'm on a bit of an incline so uh, could have get on a real flat surface but gives you an idea of the clearance I get on this thing so which is a, a lot better than it was a hell of a lot better so so that's my setup there so just looking at the wheels I don't have any poke if I do it's very very minimal so so that's good compared to the old uh, 16 by 8 negative 22s I had on here um, dynamic soft 8s now this is a lot better a hell of a lot better so you're all probably wondering how have I got this to work what suspension am I running so let me give the car a quick start and turn the wheel and I'll show you exactly what suspension I'm running on this vehicle so this is actually a uh, custom suspension setup and out here all right all right so my suspension setup hopefully we can see underneath here so I am running a Dobinson's MRR suspension setup with adjustable spring perches. My reservoir sits up under here, under the bull bar, so I get some nice airflow and keep it nice and cool. So that's my setup. It's a custom setup. You cannot buy this off the shelf. Um, I happen to have contacts, so that works really well for me. Um, you could probably go something like a terrain tamer if you want to do this. Um, it's just you're gonna know people. Now the other thing, I don't know if you can see right back there, that is an extended bump stop. So to stop these 33 smashing into the wheel arches and my upper arms contacting the wheel arches, which it has done in the past, you do have to put extended bump stops in. Um, and it does work. You still get a hell of a lot of flex. So that's the front. Don't know if I can show you the rear. You might be able to. Let's have a look. Probably not. The rear's kind of hard to see. Hold on a minute. Can I do it this way? Oh, yeah, you can. So that's a more, that's a remote res shock on the uh, rear as well. So with the Dobson Springs. So, yes, it can be done. You can run a 285 65, 285 65, 285 on a 16x0 wheel with a two inch lift. It's possible, it's doable. There are a few other little things you'll need to do as well though. Your rear wheel arch, you'll need to trim it. I've had to trim mine out a little bit. Just gave it a nice flowing line, so under full tuck, it doesn't catch and rip your flare off like it did last time. Um, on the front, I still have a heap of clearance anyway, but I have hammered in that, that seam just here, and I've trimmed it out a little bit, so it's um, not gonna doesn't catch at all, which is really good. The other thing I have here too, which you'll have to look at doing, is um, SPC upper control arms uh, part number 25460 
this just gives you uh, a bit more droop so it makes it flex a little bit better so that's the way I've gone with that one there um, all pretty simple to do so not too hard now you got the, there you can see it's got the extended ball joint so my CV angles are actually pretty good hardly any angle on it which is nice and and yeah that's that there so that's the suspension setup guys so it's a Dobson custom MRR setup um, and yeah that's that one there I can't even tell you what's in it couldn't tell you couldn't tell you how they did it how they did it for me but it's good I love it rides really nice now in the back here I have added an extra Titan drawer these Titan drawers just bolt down onto the tie down points with longer bolts so that's my extra drawer set up there um, nothing too crazy I'm having problems with this bottom drawer though but top one top one's good got my camping gear and stuff in it still so I am going on a trip soon. The bottom one's got a bit of a dragging uh, bearing at the moment, so I do have to pull this apart and fix it at some point, but you'll hear it when I get to the end here. That. Now, tools are catching. Everything's catching. There we go. So, that little bit of a drag there. It's not too bad. And then in this one, it's just all my uh, solar blanket and tire inflator and stuff, so. That's that one. Someone coming past, that's fine. Um, in the back here, what can I show you? So, all right. So, I do have a tire deflator, tire inflator, air compressor under the seat. I'll get there eventually. It is early morning here right now. So. That is a TJM onboard air compressor. Don't know if I can see it or show you in the front here. Maybe. So there you go, yeah. So I've just mounted that under my seat. Um, that works really well. It does take a little bit to uh, inflate, but you know, is what it is. So that's not too bad. And then you get my switch for that one. So I had to file this out a little bit to get the switch in there, but that's my switch for my uh, for the compressors right here. So you've got to watch out you don't knock it with your knee. I might get another panel later on and move this over to this side, or I will uh, be getting a roof console at some point. I think might be worth doing. So so there you go, guys. That's all my updates. Um, oh yeah, one more. One more I haven't shown, but if you've seen the video, you will. So, I do have a carbon winch installed now. And uh, that's down here. So, it's a good winch. Reliable, works first time. Not a problem. I do have to get rid of those King's lights at some point. And uh, I do have one more thing. The lucky last thing I've done on this is I've put a... 230 Raven 2500 awning so that one there really nice awning and a little bit longer than the XTM one I had up there and yeah it's actually uh, a nice awning so I'll be testing it out later this week I do have a camping trip so on that camping trip I'll show you my full setup um, inside and camp setup on the outside so anyway guys that's my update for this video. If you like what you've seen, feel free to hit that subscribe button, like it, comments down below. I'm always in the comments answering questions. Um, yeah, as always guys, have a good one and I'll catch you next time.